After working with Peltius, I came up with a few ideas. One of those was building a small fridge that could stand on the desk and had enough room for one can of beverage. I had a CPU heatsink for heat dissipation and a copper plate to conduct the heat on the cold side. Additionally, I had bought some aluminium heatsink profile because I needed to maximize the air contact in the fridge. The copper plate had to be bent into a U shape. To bend it, I scored it with the edge of a file and then used a steel plate to get a sharp corner. One of the bends turned out quite well. The other one, not so much. To mount the aluminium heatsink, I used two M4 bolts. Now this heatsink material was not easy to drill and I'm sure it took a heavy toll on my drill bits. Afterwards I realized that I need to count the sink both with the screws. So back to the drill press it was. I designed the fridge in Fusion 316 and printed it on my cheap Ender 3. It took around 10 hours and came out nice. These fragments are probably caused by my loose print bed, but they won't affect performance at all. To mount the cold side I also printed the clamping plate. Now time to put it together. The base that holds the heatsink was also printed and assembled. The assembly of everything was inconvenient as the four screws were out of reach. It could definitely use a rework. To insulate the cold side I used some foam plates. Heat removal is essential for Peltier systems and I was scared that my fan won't do. But at 45 watts it kept the Peltier at a nice 43 degrees. The system will run on 12 volts later, so it will get a bit toastier. As a side note, this Peltier is rated for 16 amps of power. So I added the XT60 adapter and the fridge was ready to roll. A room temperature can was added and after a bit over half an hour, the can reached a chilly 6 degrees. The fridge measured around 0 degrees, which was perfect. Obviously this all is very inefficient and wasteful. This whole thing draws more than 60 watts to cool one can. With a microcontroller, a temperature probe and a relay things could be way more efficient. But I don't think I will add those. Yet, the system works perfectly as designed and does what it should do. Thanks for watching, until next time.